Hey honey, it's Justina here. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're viewing this. Honey, this ain't a mukbang. But I did go to Bojangles and get a biscuit this morning. That caught it so good. So today, after going to Bojangles, I decided to go by Trader Joe's. Look at that. Okay. So, I've, uh, I've only gone to a couple times to Trader Joe's. And let me just say, Trader Joe's has a lot of really good stuff. Um, me and Denise went in there, and God, they have so much. Ch from cheese to dressings, well, you know, sauces, dressings, um, frozen food, um, everything. So, let's just get into it. So, the first thing I got is the french green beans i got these these were only a dollar and look how many green beans you get a whole freaking bag full for only a dollar uh let's see uh, okay so i got two of those i have two of the green beans only a dollar you really can't beat it I'm trying to figure out where to put it okay i'll just put it over here let me make some room and I'll just put the stuff right here. Okay. So I don't want to sit on the floor. That's nasty. So we got the green beans. What else did we get? All right. So we got the sweet potato fries. These are, uh, I've never had these. I've never had really any of this stuff. So I'm just going to try it out. Um, I got the sweet potato fries. I love those. Especially, uh, what restaurant had them? trying to think uh sweet potato fries the last place i think it was at the mystic grill those were really good and i ha and i got me and my uh brother this we're gonna have this um either tomorrow or some someday this week we'll have these the atlantic salmon salmon the atlantic salmon with lemon or butter so, we got two of these. Those were like only $6. So, that's like cheaper than a restaurant right there. Because you got two salmons. Throw some green beans and a salad. You're good to go. So, we got that. And it only takes like, I think, 20 minutes, 15 minutes to cook. That's really good. So, we got some pumpkin raviolis. You know, I had to go in with my pumpkin stuff. So, I've never had these. I saw it with Denise um, the last time we went in there. And, um, oh my goodness, we got some cheese. Uh, me and Denise did. And I did a review on my Facebook. So, if you guys don't follow my Facebook, go follow me. I'll link it in the description box below. Go check out that review. It is so good. Then I have another review that's coming up on my Facebook. Hopefully, either today or tomorrow. It's about... I got some chocolates. I got the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, the Trader Joe's edition. Let me just say, just go watch it. I'm not telling you. God, go watch it. Um, I got, yeah, the pumpkin raviolis. They have so many different types of raviolis. They had, uh, they had something urban garlic raviolis. They had um, cheese stuff raviolis and so much more. They had like at least about eight or ten. And what is this? Thin stuffed pasta with cheesy pumpkin filling. And, yeah, it's enough for like two people in there. Uh, yeah. That, that's that. So, shit. what else we got in the bag? So, I've heard a lot of, a lot of great things about these. And I got two packs of them. The Belgian Waffles. A lot of people like them, and I've seen a lot of YouTube videos that I've watched about Trader Joe's. They really introduced the Belgian waffles. That they are so good. Um, I've seen the uh, Korean waffles. No, pancakes. I wanted to try them, but I was like, mm, there are only like three pancakes in there. It's like $5. I'm like, maybe next time. Um, so, if you guys have ever had the Korean waffles, comment below. Are they really that good? But when I saw a three for five, I was like, no. Um, but yeah, those are really look good. And they also have egg bites. I think that's what they're called, egg bites. 
Those are really good. Because I get them sometime at Dunkin'. And let me just say, they're the best. So, and also for dinner, we're going to have the mini chicken tacos. And it's made with chicken breast. And it's gluten-free as well. So, I decided to pick these. In this box, you get a lot, feels like. Because, I don't know if they have some other stuff in there. Let's see what it has in it. Corn tortilla. Um, water. Gurgum. You know, I'm not embarrassing myself. I, you know, a lot of big words. Roasted. Okay. So, it's got pulled chicken. Chicken breast meat. Okay, it's got the real shit in here. That's good. Uh, roasted green salsa. Oh, my goodness. Jalapenos. Ooh, I don't eat hot food. But hopefully these are not hot though. They got the uh they have obviously they have water in them. Uh green bell peppers, cane sugar, onion powder, sea salt, garlic powder, soybean oil. Okay. You can cook them in the oven, the air fryer, or the stove top. So we're gonna try these out probably on Tuesday. Have Taco Tuesday night. So, and I'm also gonna be doing some of these when I'm when I'm cooking this. I'm going to do some videos for you guys as well. So, my brother loves hot dogs. So, we've got the Light Life Smart Dogs. It's plant-based hot dogs. Never had these. A six-pack of, I think it's, no, it was an eight-pack. They cost $4, three to $4 for this. Uh, ooh, yes. And another th great thing I saw in YouTube videos of Trader Joe's was gone bananas. And I was like, I got to pick this up. It's bananas with dark chocolate. Do not defrost. Just open and enjoy. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to have to open and enjoy these. And if you eat four pieces, only 100 calories. So guys, I'm trying to eat right, okay? I'm trying to eat right here. But yeah, those are the gone bananas. I'll bring out the ring to put shit. We got the, uh, and I actually saw this was like $15 a pound. I was like, what the hell? But guess what? It was only $7, I think, $7.20. Lee Guerrero. Okay. I'm just going to say Cave Age Cheese. Cave Age Cheese. So we got this. That's not a bad deal for $7.20. I think the other cheese I have was like maybe five dollars, but I want to taste this because it says a minimum of twelve months in a cave. That's what it said on the, um, you know, for the listing. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. Whew. All right, so. Did I get one pack of hot dogs? Or, yeah, I just got one pack. Okay. So, then we got the um, butternut squash macaroni and cheese. So, I had to pick this up. And even uh, Denise said it was really good. So, I was like, i got to try it. So, we're going to have this one out as well. Okay. So, I guess I bought a lot of stuff. Actually, for ninety for ninety seven dollars for a hundred dollars, yes, you really can't beat it. I don't. I'm just gonna throw this shit in there because it's all gotta go in the refrigerator anyway. The fridge. Okay. Get your ass in there. All right. There we go. <clears throat> That's a pretty big bag. All right. And we also got sourdough sandwich bread. So we got this. It wasn't bad. It was only like four dollars. Yeah, a hearty sliced bread with a traditional sourdough tanginess. Ooh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be so good. All right. Then I also got um, two things of pumpkin bisque. I love pumpkin. And we're going to try this out. And, you know, it's a fall pumpkin soup. 
Who doesn't love pumpkin? I know a lot of people don't. Trust me. I used to didn't. But honey, now I'm on my pumpkin high. I get pumpkin spice coffee every morning. Okay. Then I got some um, Trader Joe's cinnamon bun spread. This is kind of like some butter that you, I mean, not butter, shit. The spread that you put on the toast. Oh, God. I bet it smells just like cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun. I bet it just tastes and smells just like it. All right. What else we got? Oh, I bought another one. I got a cinnamon whisk, uh, you know, like a cinnamon broom. I got that as well. Mmm, it smells just so cinnamon-y. I, I love a cinnamon broom. Alright, here's the ranch I was telling you guys about. If you guys watch my stories on Instagram and stuff. Uh, the truffle ranch dressing. Got that. Think this. Now, now, this is the most expensive thing I bought. I guess it's because we're paying for truffle. But it's uh, $9 for this bottle. And it's 9 ounces. So, if you guys love truffle, highly recommend getting it. Me and Chelsea, we had a truffle mac and cheese before. I was like, ooh, that's so good. So, I'm going to try this truffle ranch out on a good salad. And then, the next thing, I got is some spearmint, so organic. <clears throat> so, I got that as well. And the guy at the cash register was like, the uh, ginger peppermints was really good from Sam's Club. I've never had that. And I told him I'll get it when it comes back in stock. Because they were out at like every cash register. So I guess it was that good. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're having Cine, uh, Cine Bisque. We're having um, the pumpkin bisque tomorrow for um, for dinner. I know that. Okay. So, we got that. That's a good thing. That's heavy as hell. They made some good bags into this. Oh, God. Experiments back in there. And I love me some pumpkins. I mean, pumpkin. <laughs> Damn, I'm on my, I'm on my um, pumpkin kick. Some spiced cider. Got that. Um, I've always loved, at the, during the fall season, some good um, spice cider. Mm, you really can't beat that. And that was only $4 for that big, gigantic bottle right there. Apple cider is the freaking best. What else did I get? Well, I'm saving that for last. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know if you guys have ever had orzo. Um, it's authentic um, Italian pasta. I had this at, um, oh, the cooking time is only five minutes as well. I had this at um, at this place called Ricardo's uh, where I live at. And the food is freaking phenomenal. Best place in Madison to go to. But they have a thing called Red Fish. And it, it's served with Italian orzo. Let me just say, freaking good. So when I saw this, only for a dollar now. Only for a dollar. You got this big bag. Then you got this bag. A dollar. And um, I had to pick it up. I love Orzo. And uh, for a while, me and Rashida was wondering what was the name of the pasta rice that we was eating. And um, the lady told us it was Orzo. Let me tell you, when I found it at Trader Joe's, I was like, oh, yes. I got to get it. So now I love my, um, I love me some Kraft mayonnaise. But honey, we're going to try out some organic mayonnaise. I've never had organic mayonnaise, not a day in my life. I don't know if this is going to taste different than Kraft. I'm sure it is, but honeys, I had to pick it up. Had to pick up some Kraft. Damn, Kraft. Um, Trader Joe's organic mayonnaise. So that was it. And that's a lot for 90, uh, $97. It really is. But, honeys, I hope you guys enjoyed the um, haul that I did for Trader Joe's. <clears throat> Am I going to drink some more? Okay. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a like. Comment below what was your favorite thing I got at Sam's. And do you shop at Sam's as well? 
Love you, honeys. Keep staying you. Stay beautiful and stay strong. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Plus, all my social media will be in the description box below as well. I'm also on Cameo, so if you guys want a personal shout-out, it's great for you, your loved ones. It's great for birthdays, anniversaries, or cheering people up. So go ahead and book yours now. Plus, I also have my wish list link at the bottom. So see what I got on my wish list. And if you want to get me something, get it. Uh, love you, honey. Keep staying you. Stay beautiful and stay strong. Bye.